So what I did, I'm forever grateful to that uh, high school teacher. I went to her and I said, please, Miss Roberts, please help me with my resume because mm -hmm. I had this job that I really, really, really wanted. And I wanted yeah. to have a great impression with my resume, make a great right. impression. So mm -hmm. would you suggest that someone hires like uh, either a professional uh, resume writer mm -hmm. or ask a friend who is well equipped to, to help them? Yeah, I would, you know, I would say that, you know, first start with maybe a friend or colleague um, that can help you with that, because, mm -hmm. you you know, for one thing is you could do a draft, but you really need to have extra sets of eyes. Come on. You know, you need people to look it over, to give you feedback um, and maybe help you reconstruct it, you know, just to start there. But, you know, some people feel more comfortable about getting a professional mm -hmm. um, to do that. But, you know, those are expensive and everyone yeah. can't afford them. Yeah. And oh, by the way, sometimes they're not the best because you could spend a lot of money on a resume writer and get it back. And it kind of looks the same way you did when you gave it to them. <laughs> oh, yeah, it happened to me. Uh, years later, of course, I was like, maybe I need a professional writer to help me out with my resume because I was going for other uh, hair positions. Mm. And I, you know, of course, I went online. Most people now are looking for services online. I went online and I read the bio of this particular person. I was like, oh, great. Sounds mm -hmm. great. Yeah. The reviews and everything. So I contacted him, paid mm -hmm. the $500 fee to get my resume mm -hmm. done. That's a lot. When you're looking for a job, 